Welcome to the second video in my FPS tutorial series playlist. In my last video, we got an FPS character movement script set up, and now today we'll be adding Noclip. I'm planning on adding a lot more features to this character controller, so Noclip is one of the first things I want to add because it's going to make testing a lot less painful here. Using Noclip, we can easily fly to anywhere we want in the level quickly. If this is the first video in this series you're watching and you're just trying to integrate Noclip into your own controller, I'll try to explain it as much as possible and keep it modular so you can use it in your own code. First things first, we're going to add a keybind for Noclip in our project settings input map tab and I'm going to call it underscore Noclip and bind it to my V key. And now we'll add some code to the script on the character body 3D. If you're following it along with the previous tutorial, we're going to pick up right where we left off and we're going to add a few variables to the top of the player script. First, we're going to add the cam aligned wish dir variable. And this is going to be the wish direction relative to the camera rather than the player body. Then I'm just going to add two more variables here. One, noclip speed molt. This is just going to be how much faster the noclip should be than the regular movement. And then I'm just going to add another variable to keep track of whether we're in noclip mode or not. Now for the next part, I'm going to scroll down to the physics process part of my code. And I'm basically just going to be setting the cam aligned wish dir function every frame. And very similar to how I'm getting the regular wish dir by multiplying the input direction with the character's basis, I'm going to use the camera 3D's basis instead. So the difference here is when the player is looking up and down, the character body isn't tilting up and down, only the camera is. So multiplying the input direction by the camera's basis is going to allow it to respond to the up and down movement of the camera to allow things like flying directly up in the air, which is something you might want to do when you're no clipping. The regular wister only stores a flat horizontal direction, which is normally what you would want for a FPS controller, for when you're moving on the floor at least. Multiplying by the basis makes the input direction relative to the camera. If you want a more in-depth explanation of this, you can check out my Transform 3D video. And now for the next part, like I have set up here, uh, separate functions to break the ground and air physics out into, I'm going to add one for the no clip. Just to keep everything self-contained, basically if no clip's enabled, this function is going to return true, and then we know not to do any of the other movement functions by putting it in an if statement like this above all the other ones. And make sure move and slide is under that if statement as well, because we don't want any physics happening while we're no clipping. And now let's go actually define that handle no clip function. And I'm going to put it above all the other handle functions I have for the other physics functions. It takes the delta parameter and it will return a boolean as to whether we're no clipping or not. And now we're just going to add an if statement which just does a standard toggle if we press the no clip keybind and then we set the no clip variable to not no clip so the exclamation point negates the boolean value next to it if you didn't know. And that os.has feature check there is optional, but it allows you to check for various things like what operating system it's running on, or if it's a release build, which would be used um, in like an export template, or if it's debug, um, which would be like when you're running the game in the editor. So if you want your finalized game to not have no clip in it, but you want it to be usable in editor, you can check for the os.has feature tag. Other useful ones are like you got a web tag if you're exporting it to web, for different features for various platforms. You can check if it's on Linux, Android, etc. And now for the actual functionality, one of the first things we're going to do is disable the character body 3D's collision shape if we're no clipping. Quick reminder here, this dollar sign syntax is shorthand for using the get node function with the name of the node you want to get on your character body 3D. Um, so because I have a collision shape 3D and the name matches here, um, I can use this dollar sign syntax. And uh, also, if you didn't know, a useful thing here, you can drag a node in and it will uh, copy this syntax in for you. And now, next up, we only want to actually run the no clip movement code if we're no clipping. Otherwise, we just return false and allow the normal ground or air physics code to run. Uh, so, I'll put a couple if statements here to do that. Next, I'm going to create this variable speed, which will define the speed that we should no clip and fly around at. I'm just using my character's move speed, which depending on if we have shift pressed or not, it will be slightly faster because we'll be sprinting. And then I'm multiplying that with the no clip speed mult to make it go even faster because we usually want to fly around pretty fast in no clip mode. 
And I found that even a little bit too slow sometimes, so I'm actually going to add another if statement here. This is just my preference. Um, and make it go even faster if we're holding down the sprint key to make the difference even greater if we're in no clip mode. Then next, I'm going to set the velocity based on that cam lined wishter multiplied with the desired speed that we want to go. And initially, I just had this like directly moving the position. But if I set the velocity first and then move based on that, when you stop no clipping, if you're going really fast, you'll kind of keep flying, which is uh, kind of fun. And then finally, we'll just adjust the global position based on the velocity times the delta. Um, and if you don't want this effect where you like go flying when you stop no clipping, you can just set the velocity to zero every frame um, and then adjust the global position directly with uh, these two times the delta. And with that, no clip works. Um, you'll be able to use it to quickly fly around your map. This is really nice for development. It's like pretty much a must have for me. Um, especially if you're like a lot of times in development, you end up restarting the game a million times and having to just having to walk all the way back to the spot you're at is kind of a pain. So just being able to fly wherever you want quickly is pretty nice. And I want to add one more little part to the code because sometimes even this is too slow for me if it's like a big map. Or also I want the option to be able to slow down the noclip even slower if I want. And basically in my unhandled input function I am just going to modify, modify the noclip uh, molt speed based on if we're using the scroll wheel. So I'll just add this extra check uh, if the unhandled input is an input event mouse button and if it's a press of a mouse button. Um, I'll check if it is the mouse wheel button up, which is scrolling up. And if so, I will increase the no clip speed molt variable um, and clamp it as well uh, in this form. So here we're just making sure that it doesn't go above 100 and we're slightly increasing the speed by multiplying it by 1.1. And very similar thing here with the mouse wheel down, scrolling down. We do the no clip speed molt, make sure it doesn't go uh, slower than 0 0.1, um, or you could go even slower than that for some reason you needed to, but uh, as long as it doesn't go below zero, I guess it would be uh, fine. Um, and we're doing a very similar thing here, just multiplying it by 0 0.9. And with that, we'll be able to slow down and speed up in no clip mode with the scroll wheel. And one more thing I want to do is um, at the beginning of the handle no clip function, every time we start no clipping, um, I'm going to reset the no clip speed molt to 3, which was the default. Just so when we start no clipping every time, it'll be starting at the same speed. Just feels a bit more intuitive to me. And with that, we are all done. Now we have no clip, and you can use the scroll wheel if you want to start no clipping really slow. Or if uh, you want to start speeding up again, you can get no clipping really fast with this and uh, this is useful for really quickly navigating around maps. It is a little bit easy to no clip like way too far and uh, get lost track of where you are though. And yeah that is the end of the tutorial for no clip. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. The next one is going to be on handling stairs. If you have any questions about this one you can leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching.